Marie Antoinette, born Maria Antonia Josepha Johanna on November 2, 1755, in Vienna, Austria, was destined for a life that would captivate and polarize the world. As the youngest daughter of Holy Roman Emperor Francis I and Maria Theresa, the Archduchess of Austria, her upbringing was steeped in the traditions and politics of European royalty. From an early age, it was clear that her life would be shaped by the intricate web of alliances, power plays, and expectations that defined the 18th century European aristocracy. At the heart of this web lay the marriage arranged between Marie Antoinette and the future King Louis XVI of France. This union was not simply a marriage of love but a calculated diplomatic move meant to solidify the alliance between Austria and France. In 1770, at the tender age of 14, Marie Antoinette left her Austrian homeland and embarked on a journey to Versailles, the opulent palace of the French monarchy, to fulfill her role as Dauphine of France. Marie Antoinette's early years in Vienna were marked by the splendid court of the Habsburgs, where she received a rigorous education befitting her status. She learned the arts, music, and etiquette, preparing her for the demands of her future role as Queen of France. However, her life was far from the extravagant, carefree existence one might expect of a princess. Her marriage to Louis XVI was a strategic maneuver designed to strengthen the bond between Austria and France, traditional rivals in European politics. The young bride faced tremendous pressure as she stepped onto French soil, leaving behind her family, her native tongue, and everything familiar. In the glittering halls of Versailles, she had to adapt to a new culture, court etiquette, and navigate the complexities of French court politics. As a foreigner in the French court, she was met with curiosity and skepticism. Her initial impressions of France were mixed, with moments of splendor contrasting with the loneliness of being a young girl in a foreign land. She struggled to find her footing amidst the opulence and the strict protocol of Versailles. Marie Antoinette's early years in France were marked by an attempt to fit into her new role as Dauphine and future queen, even as she grappled with homesickness and the unfamiliar customs of her adopted country. These formative years would lay the foundation for the challenges and controversies that would define her reign as Queen of France. Antoinette's transition to Queen of France marked a significant turning point in her life. As she assumed the throne alongside Louis XVI, she was expected to embody the ideals of royalty and uphold the traditions of the French monarchy. However, her journey into queenship was fraught with challenges and controversies. The opulence of Versailles, with its grand parties, extravagant gowns, and lavish banquets, became a hallmark of Marie Antoinette's reign. She reveled in a world of luxury, often indulging in costly amusements. Her extravagant spending and passion for fashion earned her a reputation for frivolity, which would later contribute to her negative image among the French populace. Perhaps the most damning perception of Marie Antoinette was her perceived indifference to the suffering of the French people. As France faced economic hardship and inequality, her lavish lifestyle appeared out of touch with the struggles of the common people. This growing discontent would have profound consequences as the French Revolution loomed on the horizon. The French Revolution was a tumultuous period of social and political upheaval, and Marie Antoinette found herself at the center of the storm. The widespread discontent with the monarchy, fueled by economic crises, calls for social justice, and Enlightenment ideals, placed her in the crosshairs of public resentment. Despite the historical debate over whether Marie Antoinette truly uttered the infamous words, Let them eat cake! This phrase came to symbolize her perceived callousness and ignorance of the suffering of the French people. Regardless of its authenticity, it encapsulated the belief that she was out of touch with the plight of her subjects. As the revolution gained momentum, Marie Antoinette and her family attempted to escape from France, a move that would prove disastrous. Their capture and return to Paris not only dashed their hopes of fleeing the turmoil, but also intensified the public's anger towards them. The trial of Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI marked a turning point in the revolution. They were accused of treason and found guilty by the National Convention. The monarchy was abolished, and the path towards the reign of terror was set, ultimately leading to the execution of the king and queen. Expanding on these sections provides a deeper understanding of Marie Antoinette's life as queen and the pivotal role she played in the lead-up to the French Revolution. 
her extravagant lifestyle and perceived indifference to the suffering of the French people contributed to the growing discontent that would ultimately shape the course of history. As the French Revolution unfurled its banner of radical change and discontent, Marie Antoinette found herself at the center of the tempest. The desperate bid to escape the escalating turmoil in France became a desperate gambit for the royal family. Dressed in disguises and following a treacherous path through the countryside, their flight was a harrowing odyssey fraught with obstacles and close calls. Yet, despite their efforts to seek refuge in Austria, the royal family's capture in the small town of Varennes sent shockwaves across the nation, cementing their status as enemies of the revolution. The trial that followed was a highly charged and public spectacle, reflecting the revolutionary fervor sweeping through France. Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI faced accusations of treason, conspiring against the French people, and undermining the revolution. It was a trial that symbolized the end of an era. On January 21, 1793, Louis XVI met his grim fate at the guillotine, becoming the first reigning European monarch to face such a destiny. His execution reverberated throughout Europe, signaling the depths of the revolution's radicalism. Marie Antoinette, now a widow, awaited her own trial. Hostility permeated the courtroom, and she was swiftly found guilty of the charges against her. On that fateful day, October 16, 1793, she too ascended the scaffold, becoming one of the most iconic victims of the reign of terror. The executions of Marie Antoinette, and Louis XVI marked a profound shift in the course of the French Revolution. They symbolized the rejection of the old monarchy, the rise of revolutionary fervor, and the dawn of a new era. Yet, as time marched forward, the perception of Marie Antoinette underwent a transformation. In the immediate aftermath of her death, she was vilified as the embodiment of royal excess, a queen who reveled in luxury while her people suffered. Revolutionary propaganda painted her as an out-of-touch aristocrat, and her name became synonymous with decadence. However, in the latter half of the 20th century and into the 21st century, a new narrative emerged. Historians and scholars began to offer more nuanced interpretations of her life. They highlighted the challenges she faced as a foreigner thrust into the complex web of French court politics. These revisionist perspectives sought to humanize Marie Antoinette portraying her as a victim of circumstance rather than a heartless queen. They emphasized the constraints on her power and the unfairness of her vilification. The famous, Let them eat cake, quote, attributed to Marie Antoinette, also faced scrutiny. Many questioned its authenticity, highlighting the lack of solid historical evidence. Her story has not been confined to the annals of history. It has also been explored in literature, film, and art. Works such as Antonia Fraser's biography and Sofia Coppola's film, Marie Antoinette, have provided different lenses through which to view her character, adding new layers to her legacy. Marie Antoinette's legacy, then, is a complex and evolving narrative. She remains a figure whose life and death continue to captivate the public's imagination. Her story serves as a lens through which to explore the larger themes of monarchy, revolution, and the enduring allure of royalty in history. She is a historical enigma, a character whose legacy continues to be reshaped by the ebb and flow of time and interpretation, a testament to the enduring power of history to both captivate and confound.